Welcome back to the Trash YouTube channel. So this class, I get to learn how to make these beautiful 3D luxury beads that we have here. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so this is another embellishment class. And in this class, we are going to be learning how to make another luxury 3D beading, okay? So, we're going to be achieving this with the help of this millinery wire. It's also called copper wire. So, I just want to explain to us that we have different sizes for these copper wires. So, depending on how the design you want to make, okay? If you want something really stiff and strong, like I'll be doing in this tutorial, you can work with this type of of wire okay is this the one i'm holding currently is what i'm going to be using for this tutorial and is about 2.9 millimeter so it is quite strong it's not too strong but at least it's stronger than some of them so i have few examples here because these wires comes in different millimeters okay so this is about 0.2 so this 0.2 millimeter is not as strong as what i'm going to be using here i'm looking for one that i have opened and you can see that it is not so strong okay it's not so strong so when you're working with this type of wire you have to be very careful but what this does is when what you when you bid with when you make this luxury 3d bit with this wire it tends to drop down if that is the effect that you want if you want something that will just drop down for you that will not be so stiff okay this is the wire to go for so it depends on what you want this is about 0.2 millimeter this is 0.7 this is a bit thick as well but it's not as thick as the 0.9 millimeter that i'm working with we have 0.5 0.4 depending on what you want basically okay so it usually comes like this and another thing is it comes in different colors as well so if what you're looking for is a pop of color or you have a particular color that you're working with on your outfit and you don't want to mix it with maybe good the regular good or silver you can also look for any color that suits what you're working with so you can see this is green this is another one that i have already opened as well and it comes in pink color okay so this is 0.5 millimeter and it comes in pink so this is another one this is 0.2 and this is blue okay and you can see that it is softer so this is totally up to you and the design you're working with so for this tutorial like i said i'm going to be working with this 0.9 millimeter and i'm going to be working with this bit okay so i have small bits and bigger one here pearls so that we can see how we can maneuver them you can also use your sound bit so it depends on your creativity and how you combine them so the first thing you need to do is to measure out your copper wire so after measuring your copper wire you need to determine the design you are working with as well so you can see i'm going to be working with a leaf shape okay and i have drawn out with my marker so you can see the midrib here and you can see the branches that we have on the leaf so you can have your branches on the same line like we have here or you can have them separately okay you can see that i have one on this side i have one, another on this side so it's not the same like we have here so i'm going to be mixing the two together in this tutorial so that we can see how we can achieve that and i'm also going to be mixing both the the big bits and the small bits so that i can see the effect that both of them is going to give so now i'm going to measure how my copper wire depending on how long you want the leaves to come out so for me i'm just going to measure about 20 inches on fold so that is going to give me around 40 inches okay and once i measure that out i'm going to cut so after cutting i'm going to start to to beat them so i'm starting with the big bits so because it's quite big it's going to be more obvious okay you don't need too much you can use more depending on what you want but i'm just going to be using just one because it's bold enough so what i'm going to do now is to pass this through my copper wire okay and then after passing it through your copper wire you 
arrange the copper wire okay in such a way that this bead is going to be in the middle of your wire so you can see me bringing the two ends together just so that i can have my beads at the center point here then after having your center point you can see our diagram okay so the first one i'm going to be forming is this first one here so this is just about one inch for me depending on what you want can be one and a half it can be two inches i'm just going to eyeball one inch here okay so after i boil in one inch you can see what i have i'm going to hold it down and then i'm going to twist okay so after twisting it this is what i have and then i have formed this part so the next thing now is to divide them so that i can start for forming my branches so now i'm going to open it out and then separate them so after separating them now you arrange your bead so this time i'm going to use this spell so that we can see so in the case of this spell you can see that it is smaller than this big bead that i have here so for it to be obvious you may need to lose three or five so make sure that you use um odd numbers okay like three five seven because you are still going to fold it into two i want them to be a bit uniform i don't want spaces between them so now let's say we are using five for this i'm going to count one two three four five and then after i put in my five i'm going to drag it down okay so now when you're dragging it down remember you have to make your branches so let's just call this the fruit so you have to have like a branch before you get to the fruit so now for that remember i said i'm using one inch so i'm just going to highball around that one inch before i fold this into two so now this is what i was talking about so once you have like even number odd numbers the the single one is going to be here so that i can have two equal things on both sides so like just like i have it here so once you're okay with the length that you have there you're going to hold it like this you're going to hold it like this and then you will twist again okay so i'm going to twist it to meet the edge here okay so for the other one you can see that we have separated it into two what you just need to do is to pack another set of beads okay you pack another five through the once you have your five beads just like we did for this you bring them to this side again you eyeball your branch and then you bend and twist so you can see how simple it is to to form this so once you bend it you hold it down and then you twist to meet your midrib again Okay. so after twisting i'll open it out and this is what i want so you can see we have formed this and this we have formed this and this so that the next thing now is to go a little downward before we form another branch so to do this remember we have separated this earlier now we are going to bring them together again and then twist as long as you want depending on how long you want this part to be so you are going to twist so after twisting to your desired length what you just need to do now is to separate again and then you continue the same process so now we have taken care of this now if you want if you don't want them remember these are branches are on the equal level if you don't want them to be on equal level if you want one to be here and then a little bit further you want another one what you just need to do now is to okay maybe we should use big bits for this as well you insert your bead okay after inserting the bead you decide how long you want it to be before you bend and then you twist so now after twisting this what you need to do is to instead of opening this up and putting another bead you go down first okay you take the two together and then you go down as much as you want so after going down as much as you want now on this side you can if you size it up you will see that one is smaller than the other because you have already created a bead with one so now the longer part now you open it out and then you insert your bead so you can see now that this branch now is on another level it's not on the same level with the one we have here so now if i insert 
again so let me use pearls this time around if i insert my pearls through this now and then i bring it down and twist it's going to be on a different level from what i have earlier okay so that is how you create this simple 3d bit you can see how simple it is okay so this is what we have now the next thing now is for me to take them together and twist again so that i can go further downwards and then you can see that i am already building my tree so the reason why i like to use this stronger bit is that i can bend it any hour you want so you can leave it as it is like this you can bend it to just be hop okay you can see how i'm raising it up especially if your branches are really long so you can bend them to have this circle design that you have here you can take all of them together to form like a cluster okay just like this you can form about anything with this you can do this and then maybe apply it to your headband okay so if you, if you can see one that i have made here you can bring them together now and then apply them on your headband to form like a design you can mix color of beads just be creative and explore whatever options that you have and then like i said you can also use sand beads just like we have here what it means is that you need to use more beads so that you can have something feasible so imagine if you have like this strand that i have here now so you can see this is about 10 to 15 beads and then you fold like this so this is what is going to give you i can see that this will pop really well as well okay another blend of color you can do is by mixing um, your millinery wire with your bead and contrasting colors so that I can have something really beautiful. So now this is what I have. Now I'm just going to complete this off camera and then I'm going to show us how we can put this on our outfit. So this is another one. You can see this is just purely big beads and this is how it came out. Okay, so to attach this to your garments like this i'm going to make as many as you need i just have about three here so you need to decide how you want to place them or attach them okay so you need to check that first you arrange it anyhow you want then after arranging it to put a little glue you can reduce the stock and then you dab a little glue here so you can use any gum you want but i'm just using this candle gum so if you have a better gum that will be neater than this you can use it so i'm just going to dab a little on the stock like this make sure whatever you are doing you do it as neat as possible you don't let this spill too much so after dabbing it around it like this now i'm going to place it and then i'll glue it down okay so you apply a little pressure if your glue is not enough you can add more so the same way you have done for this you pick the next one you apply your glue again and then you gum it down so that is how you place it on your clothes wherever it is you want to place it you place it and then gum down okay so this glue is not enough so i'm going to add a little i'm just being careful because this glue can be messy so i don't want it too much okay i don't want it too much because i don't want it all over so you can see i don't want it all over the place that's why i'm being careful with it so you be careful with your hand okay so you place it and then that's how you arrange all of them as many as you need so now this is what it looks like so to cover up all of these places now you can use trimmings or whatever it is you have I already have a tutorial on how to make this on the channel so you can make as many as you want and then further decorate it with this okay so the same way you have used your glue to gum it down you are going to i still have a little bit of glue there so i'm just using it to press it down so that we can see i'm just going to use it to cover it up like this okay so you can see that it has covered this up or you can bead on it or hard beads like this as well just to make it 
come out more beautifully so you can see how simple it is to make this and how beautiful this came out i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section and if you have if you like tutorials like this okay we can make cluster beading with this as well using 0.2 millimeter wire so that i have plenty beads that just drops down like that so if you want a tutorial on that let me know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one Bye.